Hey everybody and welcome to the drone vlog number one. Today we're going to try a little experiment. I am going to attempt on a cloudy day to use an ND64. Of course it's uh, clearing up a little bit so it might actually work. What do I expect? Well, I don't know what to expect. I expect it to maybe work and maybe not but there's a couple things I want to try and uh, we'll just see how this goes. So why don't you join me on this new adventure of our new drone vlogs and uh, if, the, if all goes well, you will tomorrow see the video that I come up with today. So that was a reasonably good result. Um, just got down. I actually was getting pictures, really good pictures of the train flying by with uh, long exposure. But then uh, I happened to look down on my remote and I was at 25%. The remote was beeping at me, but I couldn't hear it since I was next to the train. But man, I think I got some good shots. I got uh, some video of two trains at the same time. My wife here is cold as hell. Nose. It's not that cold. She just has no extra insulation like I have. Another train! Oh crap, I missed the Amtrak train on drone video. But you got it here in the vlog. So now it's raining and we did get enough footage for the video and I did get a good experiment in. Here are some things I learned about doing uh, an ND64 on a cloudy day. Number one, you should probably have the focus peaking on because that would help a little bit to make sure you're focusing properly because when you have your aperture more wide open, your focal point is a little less a little smaller so you got to make sure you're in focus I have no idea if I'm in focus I've got to take a look at a little bit of the footage it looks good to me I'm hoping it's not horribly out of focus so we'll see about that um, another thing is I had to f to record the video in 200 ISO because it was just too dark and I had the aperture wide open and I shutter speed was as, as slow as I could possibly go down to 60 which is what you want to have for 30 frames per second <sighs> but the videos came out pretty good, a little dark. I can fix that in post, as always. But here are some pictures I took uh, while we were doing this. And in the next video, you will see the footage from the drone that I got from the experiment. I think it turned out pretty good. Let's hope it did. Like I said, I've got to check the focus. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and click subscribe to the channel. Like, share the video as always, and of course, until next time, fly safe, and bye!